Leadership is conflict. Oh, 100%. When conflict pops off, they're gone. They they turn into this orange couch. They they melt into the wallpaper because mm-hmm. they don't want to be a part of it. Because if something's popping off in the house, they learn how to hide. Because you don't want to be the victim. You don't want to be your dad's next victim. So they learn how to run away and play small or disappear or vanish. Or if their mom had mental health issues growing up, they learn how to walk on eggshells and walk very quiet in conflict. Now you're in a leadership position. Conflict pops off. You're gone. Mm-hmm. Poof. And then you complain that they're talking over you. No, you're not in the room. They don't know they're doing it. And I'd be like, you know you're not in the room, right? They'd be like, right. So once you become aware of that, now let's insert new action to create new result. So we have to figure out, and and, um, my my concept, I'm getting trademarked, by the way. Uh, What's your default response to trauma? So what's your trauma default? What's your default response to trauma? What's your default response to somebody telling you that you're not smart, right? If somebody grew up with parents who told them that they weren't smart, and if you tell a woman that she's not smart, she will attack you or she'll play small or she'll start crying or something's going to happen. Whatever her default is. Whatever her default. So that's her default response. We have to figure out what are your triggers? There's so much magic in triggers because whatever is triggering you today was something that happened back in the past. We need to go back and figure out what that is, solve it, now this current issue goes away. So you're no longer in meetings arguing with your boss or, you know, your coworkers who didn't think that you were smart. And it's not about them. It's about when you were five, like your cousin said something or your uncle mm-hmm. said something. That's what you're reacting to. Once we solve for that, now if somebody challenges your intellect, eh, 